Well, I never thought it would happen to me. Um, it's just walking down the street. And I know this has happened to literally everybody at some point, maybe daily. But I was just walking down the street, minding my business. And out of nowhere, success attacked me, rolled me, and made me a complete champion without any effort on my part. Yeah, that doesn't happen. It takes action. Jump in the car. We need to talk. I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. Hey, I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. So needless to say, my little run-in with, su with success um, left a scar. The point I'm trying to make, success is not going to attack you in anything that you do. You're gonna to have to actively hunt it down and attack it. Somebody told me one time to be a success, how, what do you have to do? And the bottom line is, is that whatever you judge as success and whatever you're trying to do, imagine being held underwater. What would you be willing to do to take your next, next breath? The fight that you put for the breathe. The struggle. What would you be willing to do to just breathe? Sometimes that's what you have to put into to be successful. But hey, you know, if your goal is to lose 100 pounds, whatever, and You know, I'm sure not getting any exercise and eating a bag and a half, two bags of potato chips a day has worked great for you so far. So just keep doing what you're doing. If you want big, big shoulders, big chest, big arms, when you go to the gym, Stay on the elliptical, do legs, because that'll get your chest and arms big, right? The point I'm cynically, sarcastically making is, is that whatever that it is that you want to be a success at, and it doesn't matter what it is, you have to actively pursue it. There has to be some sweat equity in, into the pursuit of that. The other thing is you got to understand and quantify what is success. When will you know you're a success? Hopefully, hopefully you never deem yourself a success and you are constantly striving, pushing, fighting, to do just that much better. Who knows? Personal example. I've wanted to have a ham radio license for, I had one for years and let it expire. And I've got all three books. I've got the technician, the extra, the, the general, the extra class books. And I keep hoping when I'm asleep, they'll jump off the bookshelf and attack me with their knowledge. They haven't yet, nor have I gotten my license. So, is it a wish? 
or is it a dream? Only you can decide. I make no judgment. Everybody's got their little piccadillas, their little failings, their wishes that they do nothing about. And I'm just a guy on YouTube urging you to do that next thing. I used to tell my kids that the effort and the amount that you need to change is very small. Very few people are 180 degrees out from where they need to be. Usually it's maybe a degree, a couple of degrees. And if you take a geometric progression and a couple of degrees, or if you use it like a rifle range scenario, you get a group and dope change and you do a, a click up and a click left, you know, at 50 feet, 100 feet, something like that, you're not gonna see a massive improvement. Sight pictures correct, trigger pull, everything being equal. You're not gonna see a whole bunch of difference. But at 500 to 1,000 yards, it could be a foot, two feet. It could take you out of the ring, the X, out of the black into the white. And if you're a prior Marine, Maggie's drawers. So, what I used to tell my kids is that you operate in life sometimes at 210 degrees, right? And 210 degree water. It'll burn you. It's hot, okay? It's, uh, it'll do more damage to you than you want to mess with sticking your hand in there. But if you just increase, it's like 210, just, just what are you going to say? 210 degree water. Okay, it's hot water. But if you up the temperature by two degrees, you made it from zero to 210 degrees and stopped your hot water. You increase two degrees. You went 210 and just two more degrees and you're now steam and steam has moved trains across the United States continent, ships across the ocean, these scoop shovels that have moved mountains, two degrees. So I guess my point is, are you wanting to be hot water? Or you wanna go 2% more and become steam. I don't know if I've got anything else that I want to add to that. I will tell you this, that I'm out here in the uh, dumpster workshop and I'm pondering making a 16 foot C vertical CB antenna with copper ground radius. I, I think I alluded to it in another video. But to do so, I have no place to store it except for sideways up on the up on the overhead over there. And I've already got one extension pole up there that I need to put a dowel in because it's starting to droop in the heat. And the one thing you don't want is a little droop in your pole. Vertical pole. So let me think about it. If there's more, I'll add it on there. But just give it a think. You want to attack success? You want to be average? I mean, average, there's a lot to be said for being average. I don't want to be average. I don't want to be run of the mill. It kind of sucks when you don't want to be something. I might add on to that. 